Hi everyone, welcome to another TDL product review. I'm Ryan Ritchie and today we've got two product reviews in one for you. From the folks at Otterbox, we're going to take a look at the latest in their Defender series of cases. This is the Strength case and it's available both for the iPhone as well as the iPod. We're going to take a look today at the original iPhone case as well as the iPod Nano case. Well, the first thing is obviously being from Otterbox, they have a reputation for cases that are tough and often dirt or, or water resistant and these cases cases are no exception. It's, it's one of the toughest feeling cases once you put your iPod or iPhone inside of it that we've seen and it is probably by far the uh, toughest pink iPod or iPhone case that we've ever seen here at TDL. And speaking of that pink color, you know, it's not just a design choice, it's also to point out that 10% of the proceeds will go to support the Avon Breast Cancer Crusade to support access to care and finding a cure for breast cancer. They focus on the medically underserved. So it's not only a nice looking case and a strong case for your iPod, but supports a good cause as well. However, none of that's gonna matter if we don't like the case. So let's take a look. Let's get an iPod and a Nano in here and see what we think. First, let's take a look at the iPod Nano case. Now, the, the case itself is comprised of two different layers. You have this soft skin on the outside, kind of similar to what you'd expect with a jealous skin case, if you're familiar with those. But then what gives this case its toughness is the inner shell, which is this hard plastic and also covers the screen and the click wheel as well. You take your Nano, place it inside of this back piece of plastic, snap the front back on and you'll hear it snap all around and then you just place the skin back over top just like this now the one thing about this case and this is true of the iPhone case as well is that this is not the kind of case that you want to be taking on and off every day this is kind of a set it and forget it where once you put the the iPod in here, you'll want to keep it in here. Now you see this part at the bottom that looks loose. That, those are actually uh, the covers for your ports and you can just snap those shut just like that. Now while it's not sold as being water resistant, certainly very dust resistant, and you could go jogging, let's say, and if it starts to rain all of a sudden, you don't necessarily have to panic worried about your iPod Nano. So as you can see, it's very simple to get it in and out, but it takes a little bit of time, so you probably don't want to do that on a daily basis. So if you're the kind of person that, say, docks your iPod into a speaker set with a dock, this might not be the right case for you. Now let's take a look at the process with the iPhone. A lot of iPhone cases come with a clip on the back. The nice thing about the OtterBox is that the clip component is actually its own piece, so you can choose whether to have a clip or not. At times when you want to clip the phone on, this is convenient, and yet allows you to keep the phone protected without necessarily having the bulky clip with you all the time. The process of putting the iPhone into this case is very similar to what we just did with the iPod Nano. So, in order to put this case together, I'm just going to take the iPhone, I'm going to lay it in the back portion of the plastic, I'm going to take the top portion here, put it over top, and snap it into place, just like so. Again, just like with the Nano, you'll hear it snap into place, and you'll start to notice, oh no, some buttons are covered up here, how am I going to get to my volume and so forth, and my home button, it's recessed now. Well, you'll see how to do that in just a minute. So we take the outside layer of the case, the skin, and we're just going to slide this inside of here. Now let's take a look. Here we've got our home button at the bottom we can press. We've got our volume on the sides, up and down, even though it's completely covered. And on the back of the camera, you'll notice that they've kept a hole not only for the camera, but also for the all-important Apple logo. At the top, your headphone jack has a little cover here that you can keep that cover to keep the dust out as well. And on the sides, our volume, and on the top, our button to lock. However, you'll notice the only button that you can't access is the mute or vibrate button for the ringer of the phone. So you want to make sure that's set before you put it in the case. That's really the only downside we have to the case 
other than the fact that, again, given the toughness, the thickness of the case to be as tough as it is, this isn't the kind of case that you'll dock the iPod in, uh, a speaker set or something. But fortunately, you can just open this little flap and plug in your dock cable. So if you've been looking for a pink, stylish iPod or iPhone case that is also tough as well, highly recommend Strength, part of the Defender series from OtterBox. For the digitallifestyle.tv, I'm Ryan Ritchie.